60 Minutes Rewind. This is this year's baseball piece. I know how interested you baseball fans are in statistics. That's not an ordinary pile of firewood behind me. We were looking desperately for a new baseball statistic. We're at the Louisville Slugger plant, and there are more than a million sticks of wood out there, each one of which will be made into a baseball bat someday. Who knows? One of those sticks of wood may be made into the very bat that Reggie Jackson uses to strike out with and lose the 1981 World Series. Louisville Slugger, one of the grand old names in baseball, branded like a western cow pony. This is how they make them. They're made of ash and they're beautiful, whether you like baseball or not. Most of the bats are turned out on a lathe automatically in about 30 seconds. The company charges the baseball clubs about $6 for each bat. A player will use 60 to 100 bats a year. Big league players can have their bats specially turned for them. Each player likes his own just a little different. Reggie Jackson's bat is one thirty second shorter than someone else's bat, they told me. I forget whose. To tell you the truth, I enjoyed watching them make the bats more than I've ever enjoyed watching a baseball game. You ever watch a baseball game on television? No. You don't? No. Don't you look and say, gee, that's my bat he's hitting that with. Oh, I just look and try to give them all a good piece of timber. Ted Williams used to come here personally and look through the piles of wood to find the sticks he wanted them to make his bats out of. The best trees for bats are grown on the eastern slopes of mountains in New York and Pennsylvania. They can make 250 bats out of one good tree. How's that for a statistic, baseball fans? <laughs>